Hello, I'm Kenneth Copeland. Every believer has a voice, and it's the voice of victory. My God has made the way for me. Now, Lord, we, we come before your word tonight with expectant hearts. Open the eyes of our understanding and just fill us with, just with, with, with revelation from, from heaven, glory to God. And we give you all the praise, all the honor and all of the glory. I've said it before and I'm praying it again this evening. Not one person in the sound of my voice tonight will go untouched by the power of the living almighty God who's more than enough. The El Shaddai God. In Jesus' name we pray it. Amen. Glory to God. Somebody give the Lord praise. Somebody give the Lord praise. Hallelujah. I said, somebody give the Lord praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Praise you for it, Lord. Now we've been talking about the righteousness of God. And Let's recap here just for a moment. If you'll open your Bibles, please, to 2 Corinthians chapter 5. 2 Corinthians chapter 5. Powerful, powerful chapter. <clears throat> Let, let's begin reading with verse 6. Therefore, we are always confident knowing that while we're at home in the body, we are absent from the Lord. Read it with me. For we walk by faith and not by sight. Say it. We walk by faith and not by sight. So now sight would indicate the five physical senses. We walk by faith and not by what we feel. We walk by faith and, and not by anything the physical body says. Say this, I'm not moved by what I feel. I'm not moved by what I see. I'm moved only by what I believe. And I believe the word of the living God. For I walk by faith. I live by faith in the name of Jesus. Now, how many times, how many times does the Bible say the just shall live by faith? You know what that says? Just and righteous have the same Greek root word. The righteous live by faith. The right standing with God live by faith. Oh, glory, glory, glory. I said glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. I'm already happy. Now, let's go on over here now. Verse 15. And that he died for all, that they which live should not henceforth live unto themselves, but unto him which died for them and rose again. We, we live unto him. We, 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 don't, we don't live unto ourselves. We're part of a body. We're part of a team. We're a family. Sir? Yeah, well, of course I'll do that. Hold you, put your marker or something there and just bump over here quickly to the book of Ephesians. In chapter three, those of you that are partners, you, you recognize this because it's, it's right there on, your, on the bottom of your partner letters, one of the things that, that, I, that I, I pray for you. Verse 14, for this cause, I bow my knees unto the Father, unto the Father, of our, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, of whom? Not, not, not of Jesus, but of the Father of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named. 
the whole family in heaven and earth is named after the Father. What's his name? Yehovah Rapha. <laughs> Yehovah Rapha, that's his name. He's, he's my healer, glory to God. That's his name. Amen. Yehovah Jireh. Aha, my provider. Praise God. And you could go on and on and on. Praise God. Now, let's go back now where we were. Therefore, now because of all this, if any man, any person, any man or any woman be in Christ, he is a new creature, a new creation, a species of being, a very unique person. There's not one more human being like you ever in existence or ever will be. You are absolutely unique. Oh, brother, don't start that all oh, business. I mean, nothing but your fingerprints to prove that. <laughs> Amen. Glory to God. All things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new and all things are of God who hath reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ and has given to us the ministry of reconciliation to know that God was in Christ reconciling the world unto himself and not imputing or not holding against them their trespasses and has committed unto us the word of reconciliation. Wow, well, what do you mean he's not holding against them their trespasses? No, no, no. Gee, Jesus already fixed that. Ah, oh, Brother Coleman, I just don't know. I don't know. Well, okay. All right. Here's what that means. He is not holding against you, me, or anyone else any sin that we have ever committed. No. No. He's not holding against you. Jesus bore the sins of the world in his own body on that tree. Praise God. He bore them. So, uh, oh, I baptized a serial killer in the county jail in San Antonio, Texas. Let me read you something. This man, serial killer, 20 one women, 21, March the 13th, 1985. I was the last person to visit with him and um, he accepted the Lord uh, in, the, in the car of a woman that he'd kidnapped. And she, he just, she just kept telling him she loved him. Maggie just kept saying she and He said, woman, if you don't shut up, I'm gonna kill you. And she said, well, all right, can I listen to my tape? He said, I don't care what you listen to, just shut up. And she had one of my tapes in her, in her tape player in her car. And he listened to that. So, and, and I won't go into all of that, but he, he, he accepted the Lord Jesus. And, um, and then he, he asked that if I would come baptize him. And of course I did. And then he and I became good friends. And, and I was the last one to visit with him right before they executed him. And this is the prayer that he prayed. Heavenly Father, I give thanks for this time, for the time that we have been together, the fellowship in your word, the Christian family presented to me and he called the names of the personal witnesses. Allow your Holy Spirit to flow as I know your love has been showered upon me. Forgive them, for they don't know what they're doing as I know you've forgiven me as I've forgiven them. Lord Jesus, I commit my soul to you. I praise you and I thank you. Why, Brother Copeland, he's a serial killer. No, he wasn't. You just said he was. That's what he used to be. A new creation brand new spirit man. Hallelujah. 
This is powerful. This man went to heaven, the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. I've seen it happen over and 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 over. I've been ministering in prisons for a lot of years and I've experienced this. Hey, I won't take time to go into all of that, but I wanted you to see the reality of this, the new creation, the new creature. Now then, let's turn to first, well, let me read on down here. Now then, we are ambassadors for Christ as though God did beseech you by us. We pray you in Christ's stead. You be reconciled to God. He's already reconciled. Now you be reconciled to God. For he who knew no sin was made to be sin for us that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. And as I said Did you ever commit any righteousness? <laughs> no. Our righteousness was as filthy rags. None righteous, no, not one. Did Jesus ever commit any sin? Absolutely not. He was made to be sin. So he was made to be sin with your and my sin. And we were made the righteousness of God with his righteousness. What does righteousness mean? Right standing with God, right standing in all ways. Praise God. We have all the same rights that Jesus has. We have all the same authority. We have every right to use his name. Praise God. Absolutely. Amen. We have, we're his joint heir. We're the righteousness of God in him. Now then, 1 Corinthians 15. Let's go back a couple of pages. The 34th verse. <clears throat> Awake to righteousness and sin not. Awake to righteousness and sin not. Awake, wake up. Wake up to the fact that you are the righteousness of God. Wake up, wake up. What, 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 what is he saying? Here? Come on, develop a right standing with God consciousness. I'm in right standing with him, praise God. I don't want to, I, hey, I, 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 I don't want to mess that up. No, 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 I'm not going to mess that up. Well, Brother Copeland, it just seems like to me that this the same old sin, this same old things just keeps coming back and just keep coming back and just keep coming back. Well, yeah, it, it, it will as long as you allow it. All right. First John chapter one. That which was from the beginning, which we have heard, <coughs> excuse me, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon and have our hands have handled the word. That's talking about Jesus. He's the word of life for the life was manifested and we've seen it and bear witness and show unto you that eternal life which was with the Father and was manifested unto us. That which we have seen and heard declare we unto you that you also may have fellowship with us and truly our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. Hey, we fellowship with him. We're family. We're family. We're named after the Father. We're family. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we're a right standing. We're a, 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 the just and we live by faith. We're the righteous and we live by faith. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Now, now, now follow me here. These things write we unto you that your joy may be full. Whoa. And the joy of the Lord is your strength, right? 
This then is the message which we have heard of him and declare unto you that God is light and in him is no darkness at all. If we say we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another and the blood of Jesus Christ his son cleanses us from all sin. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he's faithful. Are you seeing that? He's faithful and just. He has to forgive us our sins when we confess them. He has to. He's righteous. He's righteous and he forgives. He's righteous and he cleanses. Not when you feel better about it. I know, I know you just feel doggy, but I'm not moved by what I feel. I'm not moved by what I see and hear. I'm moved by this. This is a covenant promise. We're covenant people, a blood covenant. We're covenant together as believers. We've been talking about that for weeks and weeks and weeks now, particularly if you've been, been watching the, the, the dailies on the network, praise God. And the, the things that the Lord honored me to, to teach to the students at KCBC. Hallelujah. This blood covenant. When you become covenant minded, where well, you just think covenant, you, 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 you just think that way. It, covenant is everything. I mean, every time I, every time I see that, uh, if we confess our sins, he's faithful and righteous to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. That's a blood sworn oath. Glory to God. And I'm a blood covenant believer. And the fact that he said in this book of the second covenant in his blood, the fact that he said in this book that we have been made the righteousness of God in him, then I am the righteousness of God in him. That's who I am. That's what I am. Glory to God. And I awake to that righteousness. I awake to that and I'm quick to repent. Glory to God. Quick to receive by faith that, 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 that forgiveness. I'm cleansed. Glory. And I may still just feel dirty. Well, the feelings don't have anything to do with it. I, I mean, you get, you, you get to where you just go ahead and smile anyway. Say, thank you, Lord. Thank you. You know, you, you, you know, you know the whole truth about this. And, but sir, oh my God, oh my Lord Jesus. Oh God. Oh God. I wish I hadn't done that, but I did. I did. I did it. Don't call it your problem. Call it the sin and call it by its nasty name, whatever it was. Well, I'm working on it. Well, you're wasting your time. You'll be, you'll be still doing it this time next year if you live that long. No, no. Be quick to repent. Say, Lord, forgive me, sir. Glory to God. In the name of Jesus, I I, I confess that. I confess that sin. I did that. I did it. But in the name, in the mighty name of Jesus, thank you, Lord Jesus. You're my high priest, sir. (laughs) <laughs> Glory to God. Oh, oh, my, my, my. I, I confess that sin. And right now I believe I receive my forgiveness. I believe I, re- I take it now. It's mine. I take my cleansing from this unrighteousness. I take my cleansing because you're righteous and you're just and you promised it and you do it. Hallelujah. Thank you, sir. I'm cleansed and I'm clean of it. I'm innocent of that charge. Glory to God. Isn't that marvelous? Thank you, Jesus. Now then, you are 
the righteousness of God. So the struggle is over. You are the righteousness of God. Your struggle is over. Well, I don't understand that, Brother Cobb. The, the struggle to trying to have faith, the, 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 the struggle under the pressure. I, I don't know. Oh, this is bothering me. That's not a righteousness consciousness, that's a sin consciousness. First John 4 4. Greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. He's in there. Yeah, he's in there. He's right here. Well, sometimes, Brother Copeland, it just don't feel like my prayers got any higher than the ceiling. Really? They don't need to get any higher than this. But he's right here. Once you get that concept, you're not praying off like this. Hey, come on. <laughs> of course, we worship him. And of course, he's in heaven. And of course, he hears. And he's intercede. he intercedes for us day and night. But hey, he's right here. When you were, a, when you were just a, a little guy, and they said, now you ask Jesus into your heart. You said, Jesus, come into my heart. And they said, now, where is he? He's right here. He's right here in my heart. That's exactly right. Isn't that wonderful? Well, now that you're grown, believe that. <laughs> Stay with it. Hang on to it. As he is, so are we in this world. As he is, so are we in this world. How is he? He's righteous, so are we. Now, you don't grow in righteousness. This is righteousness. I, I, I agree with Brother Hagin, and, the, and the, 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 the more I teach it and preach it, I, I see where Brother Hagin is absolutely correct. This is the most understood thing in both covenants. Righteousness. That's not holiness. It's righteousness. It's being right with God. The moment you got born again, you got right with God. That's an old saying. You better get right with your maker. What'd that mean? You, ne you need to become the righteousness of God. Right standing with him. God see me. I know I'm a Christian, but I wonder sometimes, will I ever be good enough? Can God love me even though I've failed so much? It's time to know the truth of who you are in Christ and who Christ is in you. Through Jesus, you have been made the righteousness of God. Learn what it means to be given right standing with God in Kenneth Copeland's Right Standing with God audio series and study guide package. 2 Corinthians 5.21 tells us, For God made Christ who never sinned to be the offering for our sin so that we could be made right with God through Christ. God is for you and He's on your side. When He looks at you, He sees Jesus. Take your place as a child of God and a joint heir with Jesus. Develop a righteousness consciousness and come boldly to God without fear, guilt, or shame. I am what the Word says I am. I can do what the Word says I can do. I receive my right standing with God in Christ. Request your free Right Standing with God package, an audio series and study guide by Kenneth Copeland. Learn who you are in Christ and who He is in you. Live in the freedom and peace Jesus made available to you. Go to kcm.org.uk forward slash TV special or call 01225-787-310. This free offer is good for 30 days. Postage charges may apply. Contact your regional office for more information. 
Brother Copeland made it so clear today. Righteousness means right standing with God. We were made to have right standing with God by Jesus' righteousness. And he has been made to be sin for our sin. You see, Jesus gave us our right standing with God. And what we need to do is to develop our thinking, to be constantly, consciously aware of that position of righteousness. And our free product offer this week is the Right Standing with God Pack. It's an audio series and a study guide book by Kenneth Copeland. Now, as you read and listen to these two teaching resources, you need to allow the Holy Spirit to reveal to you who you are in Christ Jesus. Your right standing with God gives you access to His power. So what are you needing access to? How about some wisdom? Hmm? How about some healing, some peace, some protection, some freedom? All of these things are possible because of Him. So to find out more, request your free package on kcm.org. And Brother Copeland calls kcm.org your study center because every day you can log on, you can fill up on the Word of God anytime, day or night. There's a number of free resources that are available that you can watch, you can read, including the Believer's Voice of Victory broadcast, the BVOV magazine, the Daily Devotional. There are articles by Kenneth and Gloria Copeland, prayers that you can pray, partner testimonies, so much more. This website is is designed to help you build your faith, help you to grow in your fellowship and your relationship with God. So add kcm.org to your daily routine. And then tomorrow, you will want to be a part of this broadcast. Let me tell you why. Brother Copeland is going to be teaching you how to develop a righteousness consciousness. It matters what's on your mind. It matters what you're thinking about night and day, because what you think about very soon will become what you talk about. What's on your mind doesn't just stay on your mind. Have you noticed that? Very soon it begins to come out of your mouth. So what you have on your mind is so important because you want to be speaking and declaring the Word of God and who the Word of God says you are in Jesus. So don't miss this broadcast tomorrow. Thanks for watching today. Day, everybody. We'll see you again next time. Until then, remember that God loves you, we love you, and Jesus is Lord. Thank you for joining us today on the Believer's Voice of Victory. Go to kcm.org.uk to receive free faith-based teaching resources, such as a digital download of today's Believer's Voice of Victory broadcast. You can download it straight to your computer or mobile. Continue to grow in your faith in God and live in the wisdom of His Word. Believe God to bring new visions, His manifested power, and great change in your life. The Believer's Voice of Victory broadcast study notes will help you dive deeper into these powerful word-based teachings. Get all five days of notes at one time. Use them during the week for your personal study time. Download them free at kcm.org.uk slash notes. Create a special family devotional time to follow along with the notes as you watch the broadcast. Study the scriptures with your children and begin instilling God's word now. Use these notes to build your faith library and build up a heritage of faith.